Hey, what's up, y'all? Big Wally 28 here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do some more work on this octagon fire pit. Um, I'm going to turn it into a Santa Maria grill. I pretty much decided so. I uh, kept going back and forth between just doing a regular fire pit or Santa Maria, but you know, Santa Maria is a lot more work, but they're just a lot, uh, they're, they're a cool grill when you're done with them. So, um, anyway, I've got some one inch square tubing here, eighth inch wall. Um, you see it there. I got a set up on my table, I've got my saw ready to go, measuring tape, gloves. Um, so I'm basically just going to do a square in here. Because you don't have to have a grate for the entire bottom of it. That would be a huge fire. And you don't need one that big for, you know, I think this grill's about 36 inches across, something like that. Uh, it's about 38. So it's going to cover, uh, it's going to be plenty sufficient for it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting all this. And uh, feel free to fast forward if you like do the boring stuff, but hopefully it'll come out nice. Go ahead and make the first edge. I'm going to do it uh, 45. You could just make straight cuts on it, but you'd have open ends, and I just don't want to do it like that. I want to take the time and make it a little bit nicer, nice as I can anyway. So here goes.
just so you know, I'm using a Sharpie silver metallic. Uh, first time I've used this brand new. I've heard they don't hold up really good on greasy surfaces, but uh, this oil, this uh, metal that I buy, it's got a little bit of oil on it from the factory or whatever, but um, seems to be holding up pretty good so far. I've used it, you know, drawn a few lines with it, so I might do a review on this and compare it to a uh, Milwaukee ink saw when I get a chance. All right, y'all. I uh, just cut the cut the one inch square tubing out that I'm going to be using for the grape. Got them right here. They're right around 22 inches. So square them up real quick. Do a little test fit. course I'd have to clean the edges up first but it's uh so you got one of these so kind of square them up one at a time there's some little burrs that my saw left on there you can see a little bit right there 
got to clean that up. So, as soon as I do that, we'll uh, get it squared up and I'll weld them up. this uh, Milwaukee Fuel uh, M18 grinder works really well I've also got a Ryobi it's a corded grinder um, it's on the cheap side I guess you would say but it's worked really good I've had it for years but this right here this thing's got a ton of power the batteries last forever uh, I've got a lot of Milwaukee tools I love them um, this works out really well you don't have to drag around cords and everything so if, uh, if it's in the budget get one of these So I got it all squared up. Uh, the ends came out a little off. I must have had the 45 just a hair off on my saw, but that's about what it looks like right there. Uh, so I'm about to weld it up. All right, y'all. Got my welder all plugged in, set up. Got the gas on. Everything's ready to go. Uh, this is my welding helmet that I've been using. Uh, it's a Lincoln Electric Auto Darkening Welding Helmet. It's got, the, I guess, flame design on it or something. Uh, I got a really big head. This thing barely fits me, but it does fit. Uh, it comes with a sweatband deal in here. It's pretty good. Um, it works really well. Uh, I've been pretty happy with it. So the ones that are not auto darkening, they're okay to use, but it can make you a little off. This one, you can actually see what you're doing until you start your arc. So uh, once I started using this, I never went back to the old one. So anyway, here we go. Gonna tack them in place first. Let's see here.
got a tiny garage here, so which most of you probably are too. All right, let me lay a bead down. turn the amps down just a little bit. side corners. this uh, again I'm not a professional welder as I've said in my other videos I'm still kind of learning as I go so each time I get out here and build something I get a little bit better you know or at least that's the idea anyway but you can see the welds right here So, anyway, I'm going to finish the inside of them, just so it'll kind of be sealed up a little bit, and uh, move on to cutting the expanded metal out and welding that on here, weld some legs on it, drill some holes, set it in place, that way it won't move around when you're trying to adjust logs or coal on your fire, and uh, get this done.
right. Looks like a picture frame. Anyway, that's what I'm going to use to show you. Show you where it's going to end up. It's going to end up inside of there. And that's what's going to be the grate. So the fire can breathe a little bit, actually a lot, and uh, hopefully it'll turn out nice. All right, guys. Had to change out my grinding wheel and put a cutting wheel on. That's what I'm going to use to cut this expanded metal out. Uh, just while I'm thinking about it, just a tip. Um, this Milwaukee grinder. I thought that uh, the chuck tool, or you know, the thing that holds the uh, blade on, I thought the tools were kind of universal across the board. Um, I took my Ryobi and tried to put it on here. It's not the same. Some of them might be, but the Ryobi isn't. So, what I did, since there's a lot of silver tools and I got a lot of stuff in here, I took some, uh, I guess, neon or fluorescent green paint and I spray painted this thing so I can find it easier because I'm always searching for it and this is the only tool that's going to take this thing off quickly anyway so just a tip let me get my mask on here we go Show, show you all how that fits on there. So, fits pretty good. So I'm gonna weld that on there. Let me get my welder ready.
want to put enough tacks around here you don't have to weld a bead around the whole thing you want to put enough tacks on there where it's uh just strong enough it's not going to fall apart or rust or anything like that i'm going to paint it with some uh 2000 degree paint anyway and i'm going to paint the rest of the grill same paint so anyway here we go guys notice how I'm not lifting my hood up before I adjust everything it's because if you've never used one of these auto darkening welding helmets uh, those few seconds that it takes you to do that they add up and it will save you a lot of time way less hassle again I love this thing Just so you know, the welder that I'm using, it's an Eastwood MIG 175. Uh, that's the one I go to first pretty much every time. Got a 10-pound uh, spool of Hobart uh, .030 wire in it, MIG welding wire. Uh, it works real good. So here's the uh, grate after I welded it.
Notice how I just did one tack pretty much all the way around. Um, I could have done maybe a dozen tacks on this thing and it would have held up just fine, but you know, I just want to build it pretty much as heavy duty as I can.